Are you starting a new ERLC server? Then you need to know what ERLC moderation bot to use. There are four main bots and I'm going to be covering three in this video to tell you what the best bots. So getting started with the ERM bot. ERM is an all-in-one bot which means that you can do nearly everything for free with ERM. As you can see I'm on their website right now and it says the next gen platform to build your roleplay server. So I would say if you are starting out and you don't have a budget to spend on a moderation bot, I would say ERM is your go to platform. It does everything from LOA requests all the way to sessions. So I love this bot and a lot of people do use this starting out in the ERLC roleplay community. Moving on to the next bot, Melonly. Melonly is the front runner when it comes to ERLC moderation bots. It has been around for the longest and it has had the most features for the longest, meaning a lot of staff use this bot on a day-to-day -day basis, therefore knows how it works. Now, I've got to say, this is a great bot. As you can see, they have so many features, including AI Watchdog and infractions and sessions. Now, this is not to say that other bots do not have these, but Melanie just has had time to refine them and make them really, really good. So if you're looking for a bot that is great at handling everything you need on your staff team, like an even more all-in-one ERLC bot than ERM, I'd suggest Melanie. But you may have seen this bot coming because it does come with a fee. As you can see up the top of the screen, there is a Melanie Plus. Now if I click on this, you can see that a lot of the items that this bot does is locked behind a paywall of $6 per month American. So this means that unless you pay this fee every single month, you will not get half the features that are advertised on their main page. So this is the downside to Melanie versus ERM, making ERM really stand out in the ERLC moderation community. Moving on to the last bot, Trident. Now, if you've ever seen a new ERLC server, they are probably using Trident because Melanie and Trident were some of the first bots that got advertised on ERLC's page for moderation. Although Melanie has gone for the new, more automated side with the dashboard, Trident has stayed simple using mostly Discord commands, but they do have a small moderation panel. Now, as you can see, this is what Trident can do, but it is extremely limited. Compared to what ERM and Melanie can do, it is insanely limited, and I would say it's only for the roleplay side, if you are trying to start sessions with it, infract with it, do LOAs with it, you cannot do these things. Therefore, Trident compared to ERM and Melanly does not perform so well. However, some people absolutely love this bot for what it does. So I'd recommend this to servers that have a secondary bot, which I will discuss at the end of the video, and use this as their primary bot. So if you do want all of these things for absolutely free then trident is the bot that you want to go for now this whole video i've been talking about secondary bots and no this is not a sponsored section i'm just saying that this is the best secondary bot for ERLC moderation. So if you have ever wanted to have Trident and then use a secondary bot, I'd recommend this bot. This is your all-in-one moderation for Discord. And it is Discord only. It is not integrated with ERLC in any way. So do not try to use this as a primary bot. However, it does have the AI features like Melanie, like ERM, for absolutely free and in Discord. It also has infractions and promotions if you are interested in that. It does not have LOA yet, but it will probably be coming in the future. So I'm really, really excited to see the next update for Sapphire, the all-in-one Discord moderation bot.
And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified when I post. And I will see you in the next video.